Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to awaken fruits in Blocks Fruits. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free and it really helps me out. Let's get straight into it. There are only a certain amount of fruits at the moment that can be awakened. Those fruits are Flame, Ice, Dark, Light, Magma, Quake, Buddha, String, and Rumble. So to awaken those, you will first off need either 100,000 money or a fruit. Now I will be grabbing a spare fruit. I've got two bombs, so I will use a bomb. Now I am in the second C because this is where you can start to awaken your fruits. If you see where I'm heading, I'm heading to the green zone and off to the left of green zone behind it is Punk Hazard or the half cold, half hot island. All right, I am at the island now. To the right is Smoke Admiral Boss and to the left right here is the factory. Once you go inside to get to the awakening place you need to put in a secret code. As you can see the secret code is red blue green blue so when you come in it will start blank so click the first one once this one three times the third one two times the last one three times and you will get that code and over to the left you'll see this entrance has opened up you can go through here up this ladder and when you reach the top there will be a mysterious scientist before, before you do that grab the chest it's just free money you might as well now you can go talk to the mysterious scientist and select a raid. So there's a fire, ice, quake, light, dark, string, rumble, magma, and Buddha. With your fruit, if you've just got a fruit in your inventory, it will automatically pay for the raid no matter what fruit it is. And let's say right now if I had flame, then I would choose a flame raid click on that and I would accept this I'd trade slash buy it as you can see my bomb fruit has disappeared and I now have a special microchip now all you have to do is stand in one of these things three other people can come along when they stand in there they'll be green you have to stand in the dark blue ones and click this green button it says loading map you can get out if you want you can stay in and then you'll be teleported up there it says welcome to the raids some of your abilities may be disabled get ready and then enemies start spawning you cannot use observation haki and as you can see my sky jumps or at least most of them are gone now you will have to face five islands worth of enemies for you can awaken your fruit one of the best fruits for raids is buddha because it's a giant tank and you can just spam melee clicks and everything will die as you can see i have completed the first island it's cleared a boat has arrived and you now have one sky jump every island you complete you get an extra sky jump the boat is to get to the next islands they'll all be in a line so here's the second island at the final island there will be a boss the final island is the fifth island all right i am at the second island right now and enemies start spawning again another strategy is if you do not have buddha because you want to awaken a certain fruit then you can either get another Buddha person to help you complete the raid much faster or you can just fly up if you have a flight ability or some ability that makes you go really high like this 
and then use your one of your abilities like let's say noxious shot all the enemies go there underneath you you can use your ability and it does damage to all of them as you can see it's doing damage to lots and lots of them if you continuously do that hopefully before the timer runs out you will get to the end there we go island two defeated now i'm at island three i will head up charge up my ability wait for everything to come underneath me and there we go and make sure you go far enough away so that the shockers do not hit you because they can hit you from a very far from very far away and it's really annoying as you can see I am in island 3 right now and flame users are starting to pop up flame users are pretty annoying since they shoot projectiles that can go pretty much as far as you are right there we go island 3 cleared to buy a raid you need to be roughly around level 1100 or above otherwise it will not allow you to buy the raid but anyone who's in the second sea can join a raid so if you're level 700 and you want to upgrade something just join a raid for that specific fruit complete it and there we go island full cleared and now I am onto the boss island once you get onto island 5 enemies will start spawning and then a countdown will begin boss spawning in three two one and there we go the boss has a giant marker so you know where they are and they use the awakened version of the fruit so let's say now I'm in flame raid the boss will use awakened flame and the boss has roughly a hundred thousand health so you better be really careful I think I have com I have defeated all of the enemies aside from the boss and I've got 1 minute 28 left so I better hurry up As you can see I have defeated the boss and all the enemies I get fragments and there we go I've completed it says your time if I had a fruit that could be awakened and I did that specific f raid for that fruit like I just did the fire raid so if I had fire fruit then I would be teleported to this big yellow room where you could buy one of the abilities and upgrade it for fragments it does cost <laughs> quite a bit altogether. The first move is usually 500, then 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, and 5,000, I'm pretty sure. So you will need to do several raids and other things to level up and get more fragments. Now I'll show you how to do a raid in the third sea. I am in the third sea right now, just coming from Poor Island, and I need to head over to the castle. I am now at the floating castle and once you reach here you will need to go into this smaller building right over here next to the spawn point. If you're just coming in the door to your right there is a room. This is where you buy raids and start raids. It's like the same in C2 but instead of having the glass things you step into you there's pads that you step on and then press the button over here to activate the raid if you enjoyed or found this video helpful please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when i make a new video thanks for watching and see you all next time